So do you ever doubt yourself when you're putting together all these creative projects? Like, Because you literally are like in an, an isolated situation where you don't have anyone to bounce things off of. Absolutely. How do you deal with that? Absolutely. It's a lot of alone time. You know, even though like, yeah, your friends are texting you and stuff, but you, you, you put the phone down because you're starting to get really creative and juice. But sometimes you just get in this creative block, you get in a creative funk, you know, you're doing something and you just want to throw the whole project away. You're like, this is trash. Mm -hmm. Like, what am I making right now? You know, what is going on in my head? What am I trying to replicate? And that's, you know, that's toxic thinking. And that's when you just got to take a step back, right? See your storyboard. And if that doesn't work, go outside. Go hang out with your friends, you know? T get a breather, because breaks are essential in every pr profession, honestly. And, and explore the world, right? And I mean, that's where you get your inspiration also? Literally, yeah. Mm -hmm. Most of my, actually, stories, yeah, they come from the dreams, but it's from what I see in the real world. So when I hang out with my friends, let's say I go to Venice Beach, you know, I'm just hanging out there, and I see things cool with the palm trees, and the wind, and the sand, and the beach, and everything comes together and I see patterns, right? And as soon as I see that, I pull out my iPhone, I start drawing on my phone, my friends are like, oh, there he goes again. But really, most of my visuals come from real life experiences and that's where I get inspiration.